welcome to UMassAthletics.com. In a new feature, One More Minute, I'm Kevin Moore, and today we're here with senior goaltender and captain Paul Dayton. Paul, as I understand it, you're a pretty well-traveled young man. Yeah, a little bit. Um, growing up in Canada, I was born in Halifax, Nova Scotia, which is on the complete east coast of Canada, and uh, moved to Ottawa and then to New Brunswick and lived there for a couple of years and made my way out to, my family made our way out to Sault Ste. Marie, which is in Ontario, and then up to Sudbury, and that's where I, I basically grew up playing hockey. And uh, then I ended up playing hockey in juniors in Port Hope and Prince George, which is in British Columbia, and Fort McMurray, which is in Alberta. And then my family, when I was doing that, uh, they moved out to uh, southern British Columbia in Janelle, B.C. And uh, then I came down to UMass, and now they're up in Icaluit, none of it, which is uh, pretty pretty cold territory up there. Uh, Icaluit is uh, the city, the province is called none of it, and it is straight north. Um, basically, it's about as far north as Alaska, but directly uh, above Quebec, um, the province of Quebec. And up there, there is there's no trees, there's no grass. It's above the boreal forest tree line. All the houses are on stilts. Um, in the summertime, there's uh, zero darkness. It could be three o'clock in the morning. It's just as bright out as it is in the afternoon. And in the winter time, there's there's no light. There's about a month where there's zero light. Uh, so it's a little bit different than here. And uh, but they're up there because my my younger brother, when he was 20, he took a job as a firefighter for the city. And my parents didn't want him going up there by himself, so they went up and. I mean, they're still up there now, so... <laughs> wow. Yeah. So, uh, we hear that there's a love in your life. Uh, it's a guy. We thought it was a girl. Uh, his name is Becca. Can you, can you explain uh, who this is to, to everybody watching? Yeah, I have a pet tortoise uh, that I've had for about a year now. And for the first year of the life, you don't know if it's a, if it's a guy or a girl. So I just kind of, you know... Hoped it was a girl and named it Becca, and then a couple of months ago I came to a you know, stern realization that it was a it actually is a guy with a girl's name. We're at Becca's house, mm -hmm. and uh, we got an obstacle course set up uh, with uh, with chemistry book here and uh, personality psych. And personality psych. Well, Becca lives under here. This would be her. We'll do a little close-up. She can dance. And get your sexy on. <laughs> Ooh, dude. I don't do that very often with her. Um, so this tortoise is uh, it. Well, it's a guy. I thought it was a girl originally, but it is a it is a boy. And it's actually very easy to take care of. A lot of people confuse them with turtles, but um, turtles need to live in water. Tortoises. They're, they're like land land turtles, so there's no water um, in his home, and basically it's about as easy as taking care of a, a fish. You feed it once a day. The only difference is there's a UVB lamp that I have to turn on during the day that replicates the sun and shut it off at night. And that's really it. So, should we try out the obstacle course? Yeah, let's uh, get it going. Let's see what Becca can do here. We get some food. We're going to see... If we can go from one book to the next. Oh yeah. Well we uh we have Becca here uh trying to quickly move across the books. Why don't you explain this uh this little statue we got here? Uh this little guy it's called an Anukshuk. Um like as mentioned before, my family's up in Ikayu at none of it. And it's uh they do a lot of rock carvings up there. Um so this is directly from a type of stone. And this resembles, um, it's supposed to be a person, they have a, but different varying shapes of them. And originally they were used for markers of, uh, you know, people are here, food is in this direction, and it's when people actually lived on the land, not so much in a community or a city that they have up there. So, uh, my parents got me this one for Christmas. I actually brought a couple miniature ones back for some friends. That guy, as you can see, is probably just getting mentally psyched up for, for this for this uh, big jump. Maybe I'll give her a little, little encouragement. So 
So, Paul, is there anything that you would want the fans at home watching to know? Let's see. Some things about me. Oh, we got we got back and we got some movement. She's going for it. A couple things about me. I've gone skydiving, but this past weekend I was at the Big E and I went on the Ferris wheel and I am petrified of that thing. Uh, so skydiving is good, but no Ferris wheels. Um, I don't watch TV, which is a, an interesting one. I'm not a big TV watcher. Uh, we got some. You got something. Gonna score a goal here? Not on me. No way. There, we did it. Well, that's a victory for Becca right there. Well, Paul, thanks for joining us today, and uh, Becca, thank you. Um, please come and join. Join us uh, to see the Minutemen open their season October 22nd versus Boston University. Paul, thank you. Thank you, Morrissey. Becca, thank you. <laughs> this has been the first edition of One More Minute. I'm Kevin Moore. Have a good night.